Hey guys, hey, it's um, a cold Sunday morning. I think it's the last day of January today. And I figured I'd give you guys a little heads up on the um, a project, project that I've been doing. And you see here on the barn, you guys recognize that. But I ended up putting on an addition. And I figured I'd give you guys a quick tour. It's not quite finished yet, I still gotta do doors um, on the side. And uh, what it is, it's uh, 33 feet by 60 feet. And I'm gonna take a quick walk around. And you can see the back side here. You see up on top there is a, um, a door. Up on top right there. There. There's a loft up there for storage. I'll show you more about that. Got a man door on this side. You can't see in the snow, but I made a nice driveway coming off the existing driveway that comes around the barn. So I can drive in with a, hopefully with a tractor trailer. I've had a 48 foot, a day cab tandem axle come in and he went right around the barn without a problem. This is the uh, back side of the barn, two doors. I made it with a drive through so I can, with the hay trailer, which is down over here. I made it so it's a drive through. I can just pull in one side and drive drive through, park it. And I also made a second door up over here so I can just pull in and park. Right now it's kind of a mess because construction's still, it's kind of winding down now. I have uh, 16 foot ceilings. Got my hay cutter, got the tractor. I've got some material for a for the doors. I'm gonna make my own doors. I'm gonna make sliding doors. Doors are 14 and a half by 14. Yeah, 14 foot tall. The ceilings, like I said, are 16 feet. And let's take you guys for a walk upstairs real quick here. Like I said, there's still a lot of material hanging around, but we're gonna use up a lot of this for the, um, the sliding doors. I don't know if you can see here, it's getting kind of dark, but we're gonna put a door in here to access the old barn. And this is a the view from the uh, first part of the landing. Yeah, up here there isn't any electric electric yet, so this is gonna be too dark for you guys to see anything, I believe. But yeah, it's um, you know what? While I'm up here, I'm gonna open up the doors and let some light in, and you guys can see what I'm talking about. These doors need to be finished off over here. There's no um, door stop on there yet. These doors are pretty tall. I think it's, like I say, it's 17 feet to the bottom. There we go. Let's see if I get a better view for you guys now. But that's looking down. I think it's uh, what, four, eight, 16 feet by 60 feet long. It was made with trusses. We uh, put the plywood on the sides just to keep anything from falling over and down to the bottom. Um, like I say, so not quite finished, but I figure it's a good cold day. Over here is the old barn roof. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. But uh, what we did, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a set of stairs here to walk through here then down this way but in order to do that i didn't have enough run for the uh, stairs i needed 18 feet and we didn't have it so it made more sense to do it over here but like i said there's a uh, pretty much a view of it from up up top here and up here i believe it's seven and a half foot um ceiling so anyways kind of a quiet day it's cold it's got to be 10 degrees today yeah, not much to do, and it's just too cold to do anything outside. Um, we do have a lot of maintenance to do. Not a lot, but preventive maintenance on the hay equipment for uh, the upcoming season. But what I'm hoping to do while I'm up here is I'm hoping to store uh, shavings up here for bedding. Um, I made a few calls. If anybody knows of a company that sells them, you know, bagged, a plastic bag would be, would be preferred because you can store it outside. 
but back then by the trailer load i think it's 22 skids on the trailer i think it's a thousand and forty or thousand eighty bags per trailer but that's what i'm looking for if anybody has any leads on a shaving supplier i'd like to talk to them or send me you know put a contact me down below please and also if anybody has any contacts like i'm in connecticut uh on hey i'm like i say there, everything here is so developed the hay fields are getting harder and harder to find it's just getting developed people want the money and developers are paying for it so we're losing hay fields like crazy around here in connecticut but if anybody knows of a company or people that are selling second third cut hay i'd definitely be interested in that also by the trailer load and um the only thing it's got to be it's got to be soft and and clean it's got to be, you know, a, a good quality product. And keep in mind, I'm going to be reselling it. So if I, you know, you know, keep that in mind price-wise. But if someone out there knows of somebody who does sell hay, or uh, you know, upstate New York, probably, um, I'd definitely be interested in that also. So definitely contact me there. So, anyways, I want to give a quick tour. There you guys go. I am going to get this, that brightness out of your eyes. Cause you'll never see my face. Uh, anyways, but here's a quick update. Uh, more to come, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.